we're not going to waste time on this one because my brother again reminded us how this declaration was made. He wasn't playing when he said all of this. This is to put the mind of his British uh, masters at peace that I got this. You know, I will deal with them. Don't worry. This is how much I want to deal with them. I'm not even going to tell you in the meeting room. I will come and say it out on the radio and then put it on a newspaper to let you know that I know what I plan to do. So I'm not pretending. And he was very sure that our people would not take note of what he's saying. Yes. And then they keep, keep it moving. <laughs> and your brother will come and defend. Oh, they killed the, they, they, okay, they buy them, <clears throat> their leaders without knowing what happened and talking whatever they feel like talking. People are still defending this atrocity to today. It's sad to say the least. So let's look at the existence of potency of Fulani conquest agenda. And uh, like my brother said in the video earlier, this is confirmed by Erufa. <laughs> As God will have it once again, somebody somebody videotape it for you and put it in your <laughs> in your hand. But it's still not it's not it's still not making sense to you. As we are speaking, Nigeria is going for a nose dive. Look at that plane going down with that fire. You can imagine the kind of explosion that will erupt when it hit the ground. Just mm. imagine that. Mm. That's what we're dealing with. And we're telling you guys, we don't have to go that route. There is a way out. And people are pretending, waiting to see if they can get their visa to UK and, and, and the Dubai, and then taking their children and their wives on. Uh, unbelievable. It's so terrible. People love Nigeria from outside the shores of Nigeria. If you love Nigeria so much, why are you running out? No. Stay inside and enjoy it now. I thought it's your land and you have no other one. It's your country. Yes, you they, they want it there. They want it there for holidays so they can come and you yeah. know change their dollars. Yeah. Show off. Yeah, to show up. Yeah. Where else are they gonna show up? Do anybody know them in their neighborhood? Nobody knows them actually. Yeah. Them in their neighborhood. So they are reserving the place. They will never do anything to make it right. They are reserving the place for Christmas uh, to tell come the boys. Come and show the poor. I have arrived. Mm -hmm. And, and have uh, Mama Nkechi dancing for them for giving her 1,000 naira. Mm. So they can feel good about themselves. So Fulani Nation, the Caliphate is holding Nigeria hostage while they're advancing their conquest agenda. You heard Urufa. <laughs> He's thanking God for meeting the ghost of his uh, great grandfather, Osman Damfude. They're doing this also to keep Nigeria in huge debt and the value currency while building their empire. I know our money is going somewhere else. In our name, oh, they will take this money in your name, my name, and everybody's name, and they use it for their own goals. And 1999 Constitution is their visa, is their visa to come into geographical space and also a tool that they use to operate within the space. We heard the governor, was it the governor of Kano one time that said Nigeria is, a, is fluid? <laughs> Anybody uh, can sneak no, in. No, governor of Bauchi, he said that the Fulani nation is fluid. So it's mm -hmm. flowing everywhere. And they have the <laughs> right anywhere. They, they, they don't respect boundaries. They don't respect people's boundaries. They appear and take over because they are called Fulani nation. And our people are listening, hearing these things, and continuing to be docile. Hey, she because they have a church. Because they have, they, have, they have religious leaders that are using them to make money. Ogwego. Right. And this tool that we are talking about, this constitutional tool that you're using, is also a means of giving them access to stealing all our mineral resources. You also render our people poor and keep us in abject poverty and all, allow us to remember servants for years, like almost like those alamajiris. That's what everywhere is turning to. You were, if you take a job of a brain surgeon, you give it to a mechanic because you see a mechanic with a tool. What do you think is going to happen to your patient? What exactly do you think is going to happen to your patient? You will say, oh yeah, they'll say hammer. I saw the neurosurgeon use hammer. <laughs> so this uh, Fulani mechanic has hammer. Let's go for it. Or would you put your life in a plane of a pilot who is about to take off? He said, I, I think I know where they steer. I think I know where they steer in East. You will stay in that plane to fly up. 
this constitutional tool has caused us not to take charge of our destiny and is the basis for the threat against us and the massacre of our people. Every day we are hearing news about death here and there, nobody's saying anything. They will read it in the news, is by the way, because they've chased you looking for food. If you are purchasing a bag of rice for fifty and sixty thousand dollars naira, Gezi, what is left of you? How much is your salary? And once again, we are reminding you there is a way out. They are using the minorities of the north, people like Gowan, Danjuma, David, Mark, and Jeremiah Oseni. They are using them as a willing tools that they used to kill about 5 million of our people to preserve the so-called Nigeria for the caliphate. The one that Osman Danfodio reminded his British masters that he will make sure that they remain in power and controls everything for them to take over. And unfortunately, as they are watching, it's now the turn of their people to die. Poor people that didn't make any money, they didn't get all you well, like uh, Danjuma. <laughs> they didn't collect anything, you know? they are just in their farm. Now they are paying for the sins of their brothers. And of course, Obasanjo, the Obasanjo, Obasanjo, the Obasanjo. He think he will not pay. I hope he will stay alive to see the pain and sorrow he has caused to the people of Nigeria. Why he write books for us to learn how to pray, prayer books. After they commit all kinds of atrocity, the World Bank will promote them, IMF will promote them, Ndemwa will promote them, everybody will promote them, just like here, uh, uh, flavor and the groups. The same governors that maltreat their people and use the monies or uh, the salaries of the teachers for themselves, uh, uh, flavor will be singing with their name and stupid people will be dancing to it. As we're talking, there is mass murder of the indigenous peoples. The federal government has opened support for the murderous Meiti Allah. We've seen that he comes on TV and tell us which what he wants and what he does not want. This is the same guy that has declared war against the Southwest region. For yeah, you mean reasons. Fulani government? Because the federal government is actually Fulani government. My dear, you're right. <laughs> Fulani government. Yep. So these are the people that are openly, you know, sending threats and attacks everywhere and nobody's saying anything. They're on our TV <laughs> telling us what they're going to do. And the ATI called AIT Kahana Zagin arise. All of them will give them uh, uh, the time to come and tell us how they need to deal with every one of us. As we're speaking, up to three Yoruba monarchs have been brutally murdered in cold blood, all in the name to serve the caliphate. And as we are waiting, here is the plane going for a nosedive. It's coming, y'all. It's coming. You will be sad, especially for those of us that are giving birth to children. Those of you that are getting married and posting your beautiful pictures online. If you don't do anything about, about this, the family you are about to create <laughs> may not be here any longer. So that's why this is our fight for all of us. For all of us. Everyone 18 years and above must be must have their hands on deck for us to get rid of this this leech this at me at me get what happened in english this thing that is stuck to our skin and sucking our blood scorpion mm -mm, not scorpion not the one that stays on the dog tick oh thick thick at me yes at me. yeah 